Today on Drawbly, we are drawing... Lemon from Bullet Train. Click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. And if you just so happen to draw a lemon or lemon, click or just share it online with the <laughs> hashtag Drawbly. Uh, so uh, I didn't draw lemon. You didn't draw lemon. We drew lemon. We drew wow. lemon. You mostly drew lemon. Yes. Uh, well, mm, I mostly drew the background. <laughs> well, you gave me the, the sketch to work off of. So uh, we are doing something that we haven't done in a very long time, probably like close to a year since the beginning of Drawbly, uh, where we both work on the same painting. Yeah, we traded it off after one hour. Um, I gave Ben my painting, and stay tuned for our next video. He gave me his. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Uh, <laughs> I bet you can't guess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and we both worked on one another's paintings for an additional hour. So I was really excited with what Ben, you did with this drawing. I think you brought it to the finish level. I was hoping it would get to. You Th brought this is you right now though. You're doing the first hour on this. I am doing the first hour. And but your I drawing on this guy is so good. Thank you. I loved all the- like the, the style of it's so good. I loved all the juxtapositions here of his like two elbows, how one is like down and one is up. I loved the straight the tie angles. cutting across. Yeah. And I loved the angle of his head. You can really tell he's like leaning forward a little bit and mm. looking up his whole like round on round with a straight tie is just a very mm. attractive thing to me, very appealing. But I sketched him out and then I knew you were getting this in one hour and I knew I had chosen a pretty complex reference. You did. Because I liked the background. I didn't want this just to be his profile or his, like, you know, his uh, bust portrait. here. Right. Yeah, I wanted the background and I knew since I had picked it, I should be the one to work on it. <laughs> so. Yeah, so if you would have handed me this, I'd have been like, mm, I'll just keep working on the, the face. Exactly. So my contribution to this was the sketch of Lemon and then the background, which I didn't even truly finish, um, but I'm very delighted in it. Something that I've really wanted to be able to start doing more is to put our characters into settings. Absolutely. To add environment, Heck to yeah. add the story, the feel of Ooh, where they are. We should do are. a full week of just environment practice. I like it. Um, your, yes. your, your mouth said I like it, but your face said I don't like it. My face said, <laughs> I'm gonna miss the people. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the people. I want the people to still be in the environment. Oh, okay, okay. Well, maybe I'll just focus on environments and you can do both. Maybe we can both work on the same paintings and you'll do the environment aspect and I'll do the people aspect. I'll have my people talk to your people. Okay, I'll have my environment talk to your environment. Okay. <laughs> Um. <laughs> but the movie Bullet Train, yeah. I, I will mention, if you have not seen Bullet Train, it very good. It is so good. You saw it for the first time in theaters while I was on a trip, and then we watched it at home the other night, and it was awesome. I think what made this movie even better is that I had absolutely, like, no to low expectations, I would say, at most. Mm. A lot of the time, movies anymore just get hyped to hell and back, but this was a movie I had not even heard of, and our friends were like, hey, let's go see this movie, it looks kind of neat. I was like, sure, just show up, like haven't even seen the trailer for it, mm -hmm. let's check it out, and it's, an exceptional movie. <laughs> it is really, really good. The cinematography in it, all like the scenes, I feel like you could pause any part of the movie almost and have it be just a beautiful snapshot. Like very, very well graphic, constructed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, graphic in many ways. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes, so that too. <laughs> it does have its graphic moments in that regard as well. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, it was a very, very good movie. Definitely check it out. This. So we chose to draw two characters from the movie who are... Uh, spoilers uh, to my character. They work together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so their names are Lemon and Tangerine. That's their code names. Yeah. And this one is Lemon. And uh, they're both very, very funny um, <laughs> and very and human and very emotional. So human. Yeah. Ugh. So emotional. Yes. Well, they, we we can't say too much because I feel like we'll get into spoiler territory pretty quick. They're not supposed to be the stars of, mo of the movie, but to me, but they kind of are. They're the stars <laughs> of the movie. Yeah. They're they're great characters. Mm -hmm. I uh, they're they're my favorite characters in the movie. I also really like uh, Brad Pitt's character. Yeah. He's yeah. just so um I don't like. 
goofy. He's he, so um he's like so zen. Yeah. Or he's trying to be He's zen. trying to be He's zen. trying to be like a zen person and bad things just keep happening. Yes, to him. he's it's got great. this idea that he pulls all the bad luck to himself. It's a it's a really well written story, honestly. Um, definitely check it out. So I think this is me. Oh, here we go. Yes, we have just entered into Benjamin Takes Over Territory. So we have now traded iPads. At this point, we were at Starbucks and Abby started working on my painting, which you'll see in the next video. Mm-hmm, and Ben started working on mine. So I will say, initially here, to make sure that everything fit in the environment that you already created, I sampled the colors from the image Smart. for the base color because I was afraid that if I eyeballed it incorrectly, I wouldn't do a good enough job and it wouldn't feel cohesive with the environment. I enjoyed the pressure we were able to put on ourselves with this um, challenge to want to bring justice to one another's work. I definitely didn't want to screw up your amazing start on your work, and it sounds like what you're saying is like you were gonna bring your A game to mine. Yeah, I will. I yes, but I only did that for the base colors. After that, I did our nice little hue change, and then you know brighter, darker kind right, of thing. Right, right. Just a little bit of that. You yeah. said you liked this gradient a lot. I love this gradient. When you passed this back to me, kind that was like the first gradients, thing I yeah. noticed, and I loved that. Um, in fact, there was an idea that, you know, I was going to work on it some more after you passed it back to me and I worked on it for maybe like a minute and a I minute? was just like, no, I, I don't want to mess with this because here's why the background is very, very soft and I tend to make things very soft mm. always. Mm. You make very here. hard edges. And I knew if I went in on this, all I was going to do was soften all your hard edges because that's what I do. My paintings are rock hard like my abs. Yeah, anyway. Don't roll your eyes. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> so you handed it back and I started and I was just like, you know what? There's nothing else I want to do to this. I want to keep it just the way it is from where you finished it. Um, I'm wow, sure that's beautiful. maybe you could have worked on it more if you'd wanted to, but... I we were at the hour. We, we were at the hour. We said hard rule one hour each. Yeah. So maybe I like played with the hands a little bit, but even the, and the hair just minorly. But even there, I found myself softening, and I was like, no, it's good. It is. It is done. Wow. It is finished. Beautiful. And I was quite happy with how it turned out. I think we do really good work, uh, working together. Ooh, you bring the soft edges. I'll bring the hard edges. Yes. Yes. I, and, and never the twain shall mix. I will never create a soft edge in my entire life. Actually, I've been experimenting a little more with soft edges. I can talk about that in my uh, upcoming painting I'm still working on. Oh, well, I am always experimenting with the soft edges, but I, I'd like to get better at the hard edges. In fact, a little preview here for the next video. You'll see me try and fail, <laughs> Try and fail to maintain the hard edges you leave in and I think I'm going to and then I look at the painting and I'm like oh it is a cloud <laughs> oh, you're, talking, you're talking about on this no on the next one next time on Drawbly what well, I haven't seen this one yes you have it's it's tangerine oh oh you're talking about when you're working on mine yeah okay okay yeah yeah sorry we're, yeah we, wor we worked on those at the same time I thought you were talking about something else mm. you were working on no that you hadn't finished yet no. I got you I got you I got you no. Yeah, so this is still me, you know, just doing my, my thing here, my nice fade out technique, as we call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very advanced stuff. Extremely advanced. I could not figure out this hair and like how to get this kind of glowy effect. I went in, like I said, I spent a few minutes at the end just kind of blending some of that specifically, trying to get that effect too. I wasn't that impressed with what I was doing, so I just left it and um, called it a day on this one but it turned out fine in the end, I think. I really like your background. Um, I like, I enjoyed going over top of that, you know. Yeah, I could see you did more. some little touches here and there just to kind of, I, I wasn't sure exactly what, but I could tell you did stuff. I did a lot of stuff to that. Wow, wow, so rude. I did so much to the background. Did you? 
I did a lot to the background. You definitely did a lot to that big side wall next to the character. Yes, I did do a lot to that wall. Yeah, because that's where the hour ended and I hadn't uh, finished that, so I was hoping you would. Ah, okay. And then I could see you did some stuff to the lights to his side there, those like... Uh, yes, lights. I had to repaint some of that to clean up the edge for the character. Mm. I ended up... Um, I. So typically when we pass stuff back and forth, we try to keep it on, keep things on separate layers so that the other person has a little more freedom. But I had like merged everything down into one layer and I was like, here you go, good oh, luck. Oh, maybe that was another reason. I was like, oh my God, it's all one layer. Yeah. I cannot, I just don't. And there we go. I did a little bit of blurring to his hair. Um, I did a little bit with his hands, but wow, beautiful. That, that's what he be. You did such a good job laying down the foundation. Like I said, the shapes that you created for the actual character and just your drawing alone, I tried to stick to uh, pretty well. And I really, really liked your initial sketch. You are, you're too good at sketching. Uh, if only I, I was better up. at the late end, late stage work. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to get better at the late stage work, you should click that subscribe button. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. And of course, share your work online with hashtag Drawbly. And this is the part where we say Goomba. Goodbye. That background, that background is looking mighty fine. Yes, it is. <laughs> Good teamwork.